Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Zero here, back from the dead. Morning coffee in hand. And uh, where the hell have I been? I've been playing Diablo like crazy. Um, because I love Diablo. Oh man. Um, so I figured, you know what, instead of just not uploading anything because I play so much Diablo, let's just record Diablo. That makes kind of sense. Anyway, this is my main character for the moment, but we're not going to be talking about my wizard right now. We're going to be talking about the witch doctor. The witch doctor, who I want to be my new main. So what are we doing here? What are we doing uh, in this video, in this new series, this Diablo 3 series? Um, well, let's take a look at my character right now. So currently, um, I'm running kind of a fetish build um, that basically uses fetish psychophants to actually get my fetishes. Uh, when you hit enemies with your spells you have up to 10% chance to summon a dagger wielding fetish to fight by your side for 60 seconds. Um, so that's cool, right? Now ideally as a witch doctor you want to have Zuni set so you can just summon them yourself and they won't die. They'll just stay alive. So basically, I'm on the quest for gear right now for a particular build that I want to use. I want to use the dagger-wielding fetishes and a giant zombie dog. And I pretty much have none of the gear yet. I have two pieces of gear that will definitely stay in the build. Actually, three pieces. And uh, so I've got a Tasker and Theo. I've got a strong arm Bracers. And I have a Ring of Royal Grandeur. Now, I need a hell of a lot more gear to make this happen. I need three Zunis pieces, and I need three Blackthorns pieces. I already have some Blackthorns, but not the pieces I want. Not the pieces I want. So that's what's kind of a bummer. So I figured, hey, maybe it'll be fun to just record the, every time I play with my Witch Doctor. Just record and see realistically how long it takes to get... To where we want to be like to get the gear that I'm looking for right so just to you know realistically I'm trying to look for a pendant I don't have one um, so what we're gonna do right now let's just uh, we need to look at uh, bah, 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 what do I need to look at I want to look at my profile for a minute and where is my witch doctor? We're at 95 hours right now. 95 hours. So starting from 95 hours, forget the four minutes, we're going to think and we're going to look at the end time to where we have all the gear that I'm looking for. And we're going to see how much time it actually took. So um, normally you would run rifts, right, for your best chances of getting legendary drops, but I'm pretty short on keys at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with bounties and uh, kind of show off the build. So let's uh, actually look at that one more time. So I'm running uh, Plague of Toads, Reign of Toads, because I personally find that that uh, procs uh, Fetish Psychophants more than anything else, and I like it. I'm using um, Locust Swarm Pestilence for uh, my AoE, uh, Zombie Dogs, Leeching Beasts, Gargantuan, big stinker, because I just, you know, I have some poison damage on my gear, so that's what I'm running. Uh, Piranhas, Piranado for crowd control. Spirit Walk, Honored Guest to get out of sticky situations and instantly give myself some more mana. Uh, Passives, of course, Fetish Psycho Fans. I can't even speak. Uh, Pierce the Veil for a straight up damage increase. And we're not actually using that many mana spenders, so having a 30% increase in mana cost doesn't mean anything. Uh, Grave Injustice, gain 1% of your maximum life and mana, and reduce the cooldown of all your skills by one second when an enemy dies within 20 yards. So we're going to be playing this pretty up close and personal, so this is great. Uh, Piranado is going to cool down a lot very fast. And Jungle Fortitude for just more res. Why not, right? So let's jump right into this. We're going to do Act 1 for starters. And thank God that kill the freaking Spider Queen thing is not there. That is the worst bounty in the game, I'm convinced. 
convinced unless like the door to her just spawns as soon as you get in the in the freaking place so let's go kill the butcher first get our dogs up get our gargantuan up and let's start getting our dagger wielding fetishes out you see they've already got two right there so that's pretty good see boom 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 they're all over the place now it is a solid build for any new level 70 witch doctor I think and it's not very gear intensive I mean having certain pieces is obviously going to be very helpful but it's not a necessity so that's a good thing I've been very unlucky with with um, drops in this game um, to a certain extent. I've gotten most of my good stuff, especially on my wizard, uh, from chess. It's I find it's very rare that I actually get anything from uh, elites, uh, legendary wise. That is. <laughs> that experience no legendaries so we'll just skip it don't need that loot realistically we just pretty much selling all that so that we have gold to make our items better later so I don't need it right now I'm sitting on 100 mil so that's pretty good uh, the videos for this series are really going to bounce around a lot. Like, there's going to be a lot of editing because there's going to be times where I'm getting nothing, obviously. Um, you know, there will be episodes even where I probably get nothing, you know, um, if I decide to edit it that way. Uh, there might be, uh, I might just, you know, hold off on putting up any episodes until there's certain drops. But overall, I think we'll probably, uh, you know, examine all drops that we get. Fighting in here with the fetishes in this little corridor doesn't really work. They can't all get in there and attack. Uh, we'll examine all the legendaries we get uh, and kind of keep count of the drops that we're getting along the way. To um, I know that uh, people have done the data mining and figured out how many times, you know, what are the percentages of certain items dropping, which I think is a little ridiculous. I don't know how accurate that could possibly be with RNG. So, we'll just uh, try and, you know, take a look at the numbers ourselves. Come on out here, you elites. Pretty much, uh, we're using the Reign of Toads just as a means of fueling um, the dagger wielding fetishes they're our main damage dealer uh, plague of toads um, with the rain of toads it does fine damage especially if you have uh, a poison damage modifier on your gear but all of our damage is realistically coming from the fetishes I mean, if we just stand here they're gonna stop spawning, but look at the damage they're doing. We don't even have we don't have Zuni set. Uh, we don't have a mask of Jerem. So I mean, it, this is and this is T2. I mean, so they're doing quite decent damage. When we get some of the other pieces uh, required to really make uh, them shine, they, they're just gonna steamroll everything in their path. Okay, Mr. Butcher, let's see what you got, bruh. He, he's gonna go down fast. These these dagger-wielding fetishes are no joke, even when you don't have Mask of Jerem. You could be using an alternative to this build. Um, I do have the helm that allows... Uh, your dagger wielding fetishes to shoot poison darts when you do, but uh, I really don't think the damage output is even close to what it is with this. And not a legendary in sight. Thank you, Butcher. No surprise there. Let's head to the Halls of Agony, too.
And there's our first legendary of the series, and it looks like it's going to be plans. Oh, yay. Uh, legendary mighty weapon. In other words, it's shit. <laughs> Definitely got to kill this goblin. We've gotten quite a few legendaries from goblins, actually. I feel like I didn't even attack him at all. <laughs> Or fetishes can't get in there to attack, they're all bunched up. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, it's legendary boots. Oh, it's legendary boots. That could easily be Zunis. That could easily be Zunis, but I don't really want the boots. I was hoping to do... Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's Zunis! It is! That's Zunis, baby! <clears throat> is it? Is that Zunis? No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was Zunis. Jade Harvester. Damn it. There's some interesting stuff you can do with Jade Harvester, though, guys. There's some actually really powerful stuff you can do with Jade Harvester. But that's not what I want. It's not what I want to do. Oh, man. Well, that's the second drop. It's like the game's trying to tell me something almost. That's my third piece of Jade Harvester's. Come on, belly bloat. Show me what you got, baby. Well, he doesn't have any legendaries, that's for sure. Let's clear these guys out of here so I can teleport to the next zone. Alright, let's do this. Let's get some drops going on here. Come on. You're the ones that gonna pay. Where are you going? I don't think I've ever gotten a legendary ever off of these guys. 
the history of Diablo. Never gotten one off of them. Big surprise that there was no legendary. Oh, hello, Mr. Friend. Don't be running off now. Cannot carry more. That's too bad. Okay, we've got uh, one more. One more to go. Come on. You. You are the elite pack that's going to give me a wicked drop. I know it. Come on. Come on, Zuni's chest piece. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to give it to me. That sounds horribly filthy. Give me that chest piece. Give it to me. You... Yeah, I was going to say Jew, but I'm not going to. <laughs> That'd be politically incorrect. Even though, let's face it, we all know that when we get sh shafted on something, most of us think that, don't we? Because we're human beings, and we're not good. Human beings are, in, are you know, inherently bad. Okay. So let's get our uh, our bag here and open her up. Bags can drop the set pieces now, so I mean we can hope, we can hope and pray every time we open a bag that perhaps we'll get something. All right, where are we going now? Where are we going now? Let's um, kind of like doing this, but I don't want to go there. I don't feel like it. What do we got here? Kill Gom and all that shit. Clear the caverns of frost. All right, let's start with Gom. Come on, Gummy Gom. Got to get our fetishes back up. Come on, fetishes. These guys are great for getting my fetishes out because they take a beating. Oh, hello! I love these guys. Hey! Speaking of these guys, I have not run into a big pack of them for a while. I love it when you run into huge packs of uh, goblins. That's just amazing. What everybody loves to see. Of course, half the time you don't get a single drop from them. You might like kill like 10 in a row all in one big pack and you don't get anything. It's such a bummer when that happens. The moment you see it, you're super hopeful that you're going to get some sort of wicked drop. And then you get nothing and it's just like, uh, Blizzard! Why? Hawaii. It's gonna be an elite in here. Yeah, come on. Is he gonna give me something? Come on. I want a Zuni's chest piece from you. I demand it. Like making demands that the game is gonna help me. Could you imagine that? I'm gonna demand it from every mob, every elite pack I find now. We're gonna demand a Zuni's chess piece and see what happens. Surprise. I demand a Zuni's a Zuni's chess piece from you, elite mob. You Gilgamesh, the Unforgiven. Give me the Zuni's chess piece. You whore. 
All right, you bitches. Zuni's chess piece. The demand has been set. Give it to me. Zuni's chest piece. Zuni Masa's chest piece. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's like they're not even listening. <laughs> Remember how great th this run was? Just run through here on T6, not killing anything, just opening those things. I should have made. I should have went main on Witch Doctor right away. I really should have. I'd be in a way better place by it right now. The Witch Doctor is clearly the best class in the game now. He's so diverse, so many different awesome builds that you can play around with. Um, Wizard is still good. Um, Wizard is still good. Uh, actually, if anybody wants uh, a video uh, showing off my wizard and the kind of build that I'm using, uh, comments down below. Um, but it's just, it doesn't seem as fun anymore. Um, I enjoy, I enjoy playing wizard, but I don't know. I kind, like, I don't miss critical mass, but at the same time, I do. I don't know if that makes any sense. I was a critical mass wizard. You know, doing solo MP10, and um, you know now I can only do T3. Well, I could probably do T4, but slow. Why did I just resummon my gargantuan? I don't know. And I didn't make any demands. Oh God. Cheerio. Give us a bag with a legendary in it. <clears throat> and no, I do not want the act specific legendary. Fuck. So rare that I ever get anything out of those. Okay, so that's three. That is officially three legendaries uh, for this series so far. Um, locust swarm damage, zombie charger damage, firebomb damage. Those pants are garbage. Oh my god, they're garbage. <laughs> well, they're not garbage, but like, couldn't there have been something better on there? Because I could. Like, now I'm faced with this choice. Do I reroll? Like, if I'm going to use these, am I going to reroll the sockets? Or what? Like, what am I supposed to reroll here? Socket or this firebomb damage? Grasp of the dead. Grasp of the dead's got to go. Like, right off the bat. That has to go. Like, I'm. I'm even without knowing if I'm going to roll into a new build here for farming, like. Where is it? Grasp of the dead, you gotta go. This chess piece is no good without sockets. And I don't want to, I want three, some bitch. Uh my gold is gonna go down so fast doing this. Do you ever, like, does anyone ever just get the roll they want? Please. Please, three sockets. No. Do one more. Yeah! All right. Three sockets. That chest is now officially usable. Okay. Very good. That's gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to look into this build that I have in mind first. Okay. So we're up to three legendary drops, no Zunimasa's pieces, and how long will it take?